Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's makeup tutorial, it is going to be a Korean inspired makeup tutorial. So the first thing that I would like to do is to swipe in the foundation and then blend it really really well. It is to achieve a Korean glass smooth skin because in 100 meters, turn left. And in 400 meters, turn right. Again love it girl looking really flawless love it mm. Mm. Ah. second thing that i would like to do is to swipe on the concealer under my eye areas and of course to the center of my face we must put the concealer where the light bounces back like onto the forehead to the center of the nose and of course the chin area Blend it really, really well. Yes. Third step is to um, apply the translucent powder where you put the concealer or where your oily areas are, like the nose, the forehead, and the chin. Next is to grab your brush and then blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. In 100 meters, turn left. In 400 meters, turn right. Yes, apa fresh. Baking under my eyes so that later, if we put on the eyeshadow, there would be no fallouts. I'm using Naked 3 palette from Petite Heat. So I'm gonna use this shade. A very orangey, very... Mm. What happened, girl? Very just light and very sweet color. Swipe it on to the eyelids not going too much above or too much below just at the right area back yung tama as sakto lang doing this onto the other side of my eye blend it really really well yes Blend, 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 because blending is the key. Next, I'm gonna use this shade in order to create a gradient effect onto the upper lid. Smoke it out and blend. Yes. It will make our eyes much more bigger and better. I'm going to use a darker shade. Yes, the darker shade must be used at the very corner and very um, lash bed of our eyes in order to create a gradient effect and a wing effect on our eyes because Korean trends the Korea's trend is having a winged gradient effect on their eyes just like this I'm going in an upward direction to achieve that wing liner also applying at the inner corner of my eyes to make it look bigger next I'm gonna use this uh, cream highlighter so that I could um, pop like pop my highlights into the inner or I mean onto um, the lid yes 
using a finger to blend it because again blending is the key blend 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 mare pak mm. gonna use this shade I'm gonna mix this together in order to set our cream highlighter yes I love that popping highlight onto the lid looks so stunning girl yes I'm also using this onto the um, brow bone to create a very highlighting effect. Highlighting effect. Me ganun ba pak? Hmm, ganda. Then I'm gonna brush off the translucent powder that we did before because we are now going on to the lower lids. I'm gonna go back to the shade that I used on my upper lids and use it to my lower lids. Yes, be careful because you might get your eyes really, really teared up on this part. Kasi medyo uh, masakit siya. Like, masakit. Ang sakit sakit. Ayan. I'm adding a darker shade to the very um, side or side part. May ganon ba? Uh -oh. Basta. Blend in this highlight onto the lower lid just like before. Ayan. Going back to the shade. Shade. <laughs> it is to create more darkness onto the lower lid and, you know, make your eyes a lot bigger. So this is a pen liner. Doing this to um, outline the lower part of the eye. Yes. Be very careful and be very gentle to your eyes because it hurts. Pretty hurts. Now I am using a white eyeliner to um, outline the waterline. will create a more um, anime effect Korea effect ganon because Lisa's eyes are a little bigger and better you know so the next step is gonna be the liquid eyeliner just gonna follow the lines of my eyes and then put a little wing on it so that it will fly part but don't worry I'll clean it up later now we're gonna do the brows so on this part hindi ako sigurado kung paano gagawin ko sa brows ko because you know later on it will just be covered up with my bangs so I just um I think follow follow my brows my natural brows then I'm concealing and 
erasing all the imperfections. So grab your um, contour powder and your brush because we're going to do the nose line. So for the nose, um, I just uh, followed my nose shape because Lisa's nose is just um, a little bit wider but you know, it's just more natural than the other K-pop group. I'm using Holika Holika Lip Tint, applying it on the lips of course, just a juicy lips, fresh and fresh lips, ganon, mm, pop. Yarn. Mm. I'm a little bit um, overlining the lips because Lisa's lips are much more bigger. And of course, bigger is better. Then I'm going to use a vanilla lip gloss from Everbalana Cosmetics to make it, of course, glossy. ang bagong taon pero parang kakain lang ng lechuan I think we're almost done oh no not yet I'm adding a blush drunk blush cause it's Korea's trend right now and I think it creates a very sweet and cool natural look Yes, we're almost done and we're just gonna put on some mascara. Curl it up to Jesus. Yes, we're done. I'm just doing a final retouch so that if I'm gonna um, do a, you know, pack modeling post later, I'm gonna be really fresh as the sea. Mas fresh pa sa dagat, ganorn! Mm. To remove all the oil and excess shine on the face, I just do a powder retouch. And I think we're done. So are you ready guys for the final look? Ay, ganda! Yes girl! Mm. So I think this video is done and goodbye guys. Thank you so much for watching and tuning me, tuning in on my YouTube channel. I hope you guys like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel goodbye guys thank you so much for watching i hope you like my makeup and learned a lot of things from me so i think i did not achieve korean lisa lisa from blackpink makeup look